Hi, I'm Jeremiah and welcome to my workshop. On this video, I'm going to be showing you how I made these arrows for archery tag. Check it out. This is Ben your Grant. He went to summer camp and he played archery tag and came home and told me all about it. So I said, hey, let's make some archery tag arrows and we can play with some homemade ones. So that's what we did. We're gonna test it out here. Here we go, he's gonna shoot an arrow at me. Whoa, <laughs> didn't hurt. <laughs> His parents are very trusting. Oh, gotcha. The first prototype works, so I'm gonna keep going. The material I'm using for the arrowhead is Delrin. It's not the cheapest material, but it's durable and it machines super easy. I designed the arrowhead in Fusion 360 and then programmed the tool paths. Here's the first operation and here's the second. I load the tool path into my Tormach CNC lathe and sit back and watch it work. So I've got them running pretty consistently, as you can see. That's the first operation. I've got six run, seventh one is going, and then I've got a bunch of blanks ready to run. Finished the first operation. You can see, made 15 of these little blanks. So now I'm going to, whoop. <laughs> so now I'm gonna take off my chuck and make it so I can use my 5C collet and be able to hold the material in these collets. And uh, that'll just help with repeatability and uh, yeah, be able to burn through the uh, second op pretty fast. So here we go. There we go. So then call it. Got it running. Gonna open the collet and that is solid. We got a bunch more to go, but it's happening. I love it. That machine is awesome. I love it. So these are running pretty consistently. Just gotta run several more. While the CNC machine is making the new arrowheads, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the old ones off on my bandsaw here. And I'm also gonna cut these cheap plastic knocks off the back end so that they're ready for the new knocks as well. Here we go. Okay all the tips and all the knocks. I wonder if I could find a use for these. I don't know. That's all 15 arrowheads. Next up is making the knocks. I've got some aluminum and I'll run that on the lathe.
I finished running all the knocks on my Tormach lathe. The only thing left to do is the uh, notch for the string right there. So I've set up my bridge port and uh, I'm just gonna run these, shouldn't take but a minute. I've set up a 5C collet block right here so that these are easy to pop in, lock down, and then run the end mill in and out. I pop out one, pop in the next one, run the end mill again. So this should be real quick. The next step is to cut these foam rings for the padding and I'm going to use my laser, my CO2 laser, and uh, using light burn, I've got my pattern all set up and all I have to do is hit go. All right, now that I have the tip and the knock done, I'm gonna glue them to the shaft. And what I use for that is just some JB Weld five minute epoxy. And that works really great. So there you have it, 15 arrows for my nephews and their friends to be able to play archery tag. Um, I did finish them with uh, hockey tape to be able to um, you know, keep the foam on there. And then actually one of these, I tried Flex Seal and actually this made it really uh, waterproof. So it's even more durable. And uh, so I'm really excited. I'll probably Flex Seal all of these just to make sure that uh, they're not coming back to me saying, hey, can you fix this? <laughs> I really like the design of the knock. It just, it makes the opening wider and deeper so that they, it's just easier to get their hands around it and to get it onto the string. I don't know anything about archery, so if anybody's like, hey, um, it's actually supposed to be tighter and, and shallower, but uh, honestly, I'm trying to understand why. This feels so much easier. Even for me, it's like, oh, it's on the string, it's deep, it's not slipping off. And then you got this little handhold right here that just like makes it so much easier to, hold, to pull it back. I don't know, I like, uh, you can do it like that too. Why aren't knocks normally made like this? I don't know, but if you know why or if I'm just reinvented the wheel, let me know in the comments. Um, I'd love to be educated more on archery. <laughs> I was able to use a CNC lathe, Fusion 360, a Bridgeport mill, a laser cutter, a whole bunch of types of glue. To me, that's a win and worth all the time and money I've invested in this. I hope you've had fun watching my journey as I make these archery tag arrows. 
please like and subscribe, leave me a comment, and follow me on Instagram at Jeremiah Dawes, and I will see you on the next video. The most dangerous game, hunting man. Yes, I love it. <laughs>